Hi everyone, welcome to School of Scarlet. Today I have another intuitive message for you. So I basically have like three messages coming through. They're all kind of interwound. They have um, a bit of a connection. Um, but I want to start with the first one, which is Lion King. So Lion King is one of my favorite movies um, since childhood. But what's coming through is a scene where Simba is the young little baby Simba. And he is um, being tricked by his evil uncle Scar. Um, his evil uncle Scar is wanting to kind of kill Simba off because he wants his position as king. He um, wants to be the next king and Simba is actually going to be the next king. So Simba already knows this. He knows that he is in line to be king. His father has let him know that. So he, um, he knows who he is, okay? So that's first thing. So what's coming through is that know who you are. You are worthy. You are a king. You are a queen. Know who you are know thyself is what's coming through. So Simba knew this about himself, but anyhow, he was there um, not really knowing what was going on, but his uncle has him go to an area where um, water buffalo are about to stampede through. And again, this is a place where he could um, get killed. This is what Scar wants to happen. Um, so what's coming through is that sometimes there's going to be, as you're shining your light, um, situations, chaos, where it's going to want to come in between your plans. So that's what's coming through a little bit there. And so what does Simba do? Simba hangs on to a tree branch um, up higher. He goes higher. And so that's another message for you um, to go higher, to go above. Um, and he was just hanging on. And as he was hanging on because he was higher, everything, all the chaos, all the mess went on underneath him. And he survived it. And he knew what his position was to be. So um, that's what's coming through as far as the, the Simba scene that I was seeing. Um, so this is a, a sign or a message for someone to go higher. So as chaos is happening in your life, it might be anything. It could be a multitude of things, right? Chaos can be so many different things. But whatever it happens to be for you, you're being called to go higher, to hang tight, to hang tight, hang up there. You don't have to be in the mix of things. You don't have to get hurt. You don't have to even fight that battle. You just have to go higher and hang, hang tight up there, hang tight. So that's what's coming through for the first message. The second thing that's coming through right now is the eye of the hurricane. So I just had hurricane barrel come through here. I live um, off the Texas coast area. And so we get a lot of hurricanes here. One thing that I learned about hurricanes is that in the center of the hurricane is what we call the eye of the hurricane. And the eye of a hurricane is the center. It literally is the center. And in the eye of the hurricane, it is actually still, it is actually peaceful, it is calm. And that's the eye of the hurricane. Yet there is all of this um, wind and just chaos and just storm and it's just winds and all of that, literally hurricane around it. The center is calm. The center is at peace. The center is there just being calm. It's the eye. So what's coming forth for that is very similar to the message before. It's to kind of get into the zone of being calm, being in your space of safety um, and not really allowing those disturbances around you, whatever it happens to be, even if it's as big and as loud as a hurricane, not letting those disturb your peace. Um, if we really look back at those um, people and um, those wonderful people in our past who have really made changes in this world, uh, most of them, they did things that were totally silent. They, like Gandhi, um, you know, they had demonstrations that were very, very silent and they made huge changes. So you're called to not get into the battle in that way. You don't have to raise your voice. You don't have to fight anything. You don't have to get in the mix of things like the previous message. You just have to kind of, again, rise above or get into the eye of the hurricane, get into your center. Meaning I had a commenter um, on a previous video just a little bit ago. I read it and she said, um, or he said, I'm not sure. Um, that basically what he or she does is just gets into their center and recenters himself, finds themselves again there, takes a few deep breaths. And when chaos happens, that's how they do. And we, we hear that a lot, that people are getting recentered, right? We've, we've heard that, um, or, you know, they're centered and that's what you're being called to do is to be centered, to be stable, to be in peace, to have that sound mind and to hang tight there in the eye of the hurricane. Yes, there is a lot of chaos happening. We can turn on the TV, we can look at the news, we can read the news, and we can know that there is chaos happening around us. We are aware, but you're being called for more. 
you're like Simba, you're being called for more, you know that you're next in line to be king. So you're to rise above the chaos. You're not to meet the chaos. You're not to get into chaos and fight with it. You're not to get in there and believe it and take it all seriously. You're in there to rise above it. So here comes the next message. The next message is around the bald eagle. So um, I had a bald eagle or two, I think, that would come visit me at my house. And so I got to see the bald eagles the first time. This was five or so years back. And I couldn't even believe that I was seeing a bald eagle. So I had to like ask people, is, is there really bald eagles in Texas? And what time of the year do they come? And, you know, I researched it and yes, they did come. And then I saw the bald eagle for a second time. And then the bald eagle, which I think were two at this point, uh, came back just recently when I went to go back and check on my house. I haven't, my little, it's a different house. I hadn't been living there. And I went back and I checked and um, perched on some beautiful tree limbs were um, a bald eagle. And later I came back around and there was another one. I think there was two. But anyhow, these bald eagles are actually symbols to you um, to really, again, rise above. Because what do eagles do? They soar above. Okay, they soar above everything. They soar above the clouds. And because they're above the clouds, they don't have all that turbulence. They don't have all that uh, wind, all of that. They just kind of just, they just soar. That's all. They don't have to even really put a lot of effort into it. And they can see the sunshine above the rain. They can get away from any of that chaos. But what's really coming through here for the final message is that the eagle, what they really have that's so special is that they have eyesight that can see a wide, wide scope. And that's something that you have. And that's something that's coming through that you have. You have the ability to see wide. You have the ability to see the big picture. You have the ability to see the meta view of things. You can see deeper into things. You have the ability to intuitively feel things. So you're like that eagle. You have that whole big picture. And so you're being called, just like Simba was, and next in line to be king or queen, to have that bigger picture, to hang tight, even if there's chaos, because you are the next king or queen. And what does the king or queen do? Do they get scared? Do they believe the chaos? Do they run and hide? Do they get in there and like fight with it and act like it's all real? No, they sit back, they stay calm and they arm whoever else needs to go out there and they handle it. But do they get into it? No. Where is the king and queen? They stay in their castles. So you're meant to stay in your castle. You're meant to stay in that eye of the hurricane where there is peace, wherever that is, and do your work from there. Don't worry about the chaos. Don't worry about what's happening in the world. You simply shining your light where you live, that is more than enough. If you are a cashier at the store and you like to chat with people and like, you know, tell them, you know, stories and just lighten up their day, you are doing the work. If you are a teacher and you're, you know, interacting with your children and um, teaching them things every day and lighting up their faces, that is the work. Okay, if you volunteer somewhere, that's the work. If you, you know, take care of your family really well and or your animals or whatever it happens to be, that is the work. So you're meant to stay wherever you are planted, but shine your light there. If you're called for more creativity, you're an artist, you're a singer, you're, you know, whatever it happens to be, maybe you're starting a YouTube channel, maybe you have a YouTube channel, maybe you're writing books, maybe you're I'm creating some new invention. Whatever it happens to be, you're meant to stay in the eye of the hurricane and do your work from there. And you can actually shine your light from wherever you're at. You're able to do that. So you're being called for peace. And in order to do that, if you see chaos happening around your world, if you have someone in your life like Scar, if you have a situation that you have to rise above, you're being called to grab onto that branch, hang tight, baby, because we're on a roller coaster ride and we will have to get up there and hang tight. We will have to do that. But you are that eagle, okay? You are in that eye of the hurricane and you are safe. You are more than what you think you are. You have been called for more, just like Simba knew that he was called for more. You know that and you have that within you. So you're being called to protect that light, shine that light, be very responsible with that light because you're called for more. So if this message found you well, if it resonated with you, um, comment down below, give me a like, a heart, something to let me know that this resonated with you so I can continue on with these messages. Um, I'm really sensing a lot of you and I've had you know some sessions with some of you and we're very much aligned. So 
Uh, let me know down below. Share this video with others. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all.